back to Between the Lines, brought to you by Idira. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land in which this podcast is made, the Yagara and Yugaral people, and pay our respect to their elders, past, present and emerging. All right, Kath. Round one done. Episode one done. I think there's some room for improvement in the booth and on the field. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think there is a fair bit of room for improvement, but, you know, we're all about getting better here. So we're in the business of getting better, as H likes to say. So, look, we'll take any feedback. We're, We're open to it. Um, Lil, we've we've got our new guest. Sorry, <laughs> oh, I threw it straight to Lil. Straight in, straight in. Um, let me just—I'll give you a bit of context. Okay, so just hold hold your thoughts, Lil, for one second. Uh, we thought we would do a little bit of a theme each week, mm-hmm. uh, just to yeah get you guys understanding what we want to talk to our guests about. So this week is a bit about uh, resilience. Uh, which is, you know, Perfect. after a first loss, I think that would be a great... It's, it's pretty fitting. Great theme. A loss, but also with our guest, which you guys now know is Lil. Surprise. Um, <laughs> surprise, here she is. Say hey, Lil. Front and centre. Um, say hey. Yeah, hey. What's up? <laughs> I don't know if the intro is still going. Sorry, that. it no, is still No, you're good. Going. I do. I, I had a long intro for Nat, so I feel like it's got to be a theme as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, Lil, she's a farm girl from Caboolture. She's a gun on the field. She's Xander's mum, which is a little golden for those who don't know. She's a beautiful friend. I like to call her the genuine goddess. And that is Lily Poss. <laughs> Hit him with the clap. Hit him I with the clap. Uh, we ended on that, to be honest. That's a great wrap-up. A um, genuine goddess. Goddess, yeah. that is some serious compliments. No, nah, honestly, Lily, you're just a genuine human and seriously, resilience is a perfect theme for this podcast and we're happy to have you on today. Well, I'm so excited to be on the podcast. Um, it's my debut on the podcast, so it is. let's kick in. Let's, let's kick in. Let's get going. Let's rip the band-aid off and get straight into the game, I reckon. Straight to it. So round one versus Richmond and it is a loss, it's a guys. Loss. It's yeah. a loss by six points, one goal. One goal. How are we all feeling? Probably not how we wanted to start the season off, but no. I think um, we'll dive into review this week and hopefully bounce back um, at the end of the week up against Port. So, yeah, 100%. I feel like it was such a weird day because, you know, we started with a few goals, you know, the, the vibe was high. strong, yeah. yeah. Warm up was really great. Um, you know, Bright Brighton, Brighton Homes was pumping, um, feeling pretty good. And then, yeah, even at the end, Craig goes, What happened? And, mm. I was, I was looking at you, Kath. I'm like, what did happen? It was what pretty fast. Go? Yeah, well, I think, you know, like we started strong, but then that second quarter, the Tigers, they, you know, made the most of their opportunities. We probably made a couple of mistakes and they sort of burnt us out the back and they had the wind in that second quarter, which mm. are there, a couple of those goals rolled over that line. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, I guess they, they had opportunities and, and they took them. So, you know, I guess that's part of it. What was it? Draw at uh, three quarter time. Yep. It was level thirty four. No, twenty seven. Twenty seven. All. all yes. So I know at half time it was. You know, they were up by one goal. Mm-hmm. I think so. We sort of came out feeling pretty good. Good. Yeah. You know, Craig gave us a, a good rev up. And, yeah. Yeah. You know, I think when Sophie got that goal on the boundary, that was that was amazing. pretty awesome. It equaled the score, which was I thought we're on here. Like hundred yeah. percent. You know, get the vibes up. Let's go. And then you know, I think Dax got one after that and. Uh, yeah, yeah. After that, I think like you said, Kath, like we just made little mistakes and they they really counteracted on that and just took it. Yeah. Um, so they played awesome. You know, in the midfield it was a tough day out, really physical. I don't know about you guys, but I woke up pretty sore. Yeah, in the upper body this morning. Um, but yeah, it's round one, so. Yeah. Anything can happen. Well, that's it. You know, it's always, you know, they are a good team too. So we're coming out uh, hoping, you know, we're going to get the win. But I guess it's just back to the drawing board a little bit this week and mm-hmm. reset and then look forward to the weekend. Um, just still in the game, was there anyone that stood out to you guys? Uh, well, we did have a lot of new players <laughs> and, you know, you can't go past Chucky's first goal. First yeah, kick, first that. goal. She's part of the club. Goal. How good. Um, yeah, I think playing with Chucky up forward as well, um, she's worked really hard in the preseason, so to see her literally get first touch, first goal was pretty cool for her, and she's pretty chill about it too. Yeah, so we all got around so. it. It was so good. I think shout out too to Tay Smith. I think she played a really great game, and obviously it was Father's Day, and she had a little bit of celebration there, kissed the um, the dad tape, yeah. point to the sky, which was really beautiful. I think yeah. for Tay. So I said to her, I said, oh, I think someone's going to be very proud of you today. So I just want to shout out to Tay. For yeah, that. absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think everyone, you know, for some of those new girls that that came in, and even new little first game back after uh, a qu- quite a while. What so three hundred and seventy one days. Yeah, yeah, since the second one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I thought you did, yeah, such a good job. You sort of just slotted right back in there, you know, you're part of the team. And how did you feel? I guess you played on the weekend and, you know, just yeah, I think it was back in. really nice to obviously run back out with the girls again and last the whole game. But, um, 
yeah, it was just really nice to be a part of it again. And yeah. un- unfortunately, we didn't get the win, but um, I think, you know, we'll build each week and continue to grow and get those connections, keep building, moving forward, really. But yeah, it was just really nice to be back out there again. Yeah, for sure. I think. Oh, yeah, you go. Oh, you, you go. Okay, sorry. Are you sure? Are yeah, you sure? promise. <laughs> no, well, I would just want to say, like, I think, you know, it's just that this year of, you know, a bit of that change and it's just building on each week. Like we've sort of got to regroup and always look forward and there's so many things that you can always be working on. So it's sort of exciting to have those things and go, right, this is a challenge and mm-hmm. you sort of got to take that on. I think it's really exciting too. Like you look at all the games that were played on the weekend, you know, I couldn't get enough footy, um, but everyone's just levelled up. So yeah. every game's going to be a full-on battle this year and high pressure and it's, it's it's scary, but it's exciting. Like this is what we want. This is what we play for. So we, we do love an arm wrestle, but yeah, definitely back to the drawing board yeah. this week, you know, coming up against Port. Yes, Port at Port Adelaide. So yeah. we haven't played them before. We didn't play them last year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think... Watching them on the weekend, they versed Adelaide in the showdown down there and they had a really good game. Like I thought, you know, even just looking at them from last year, they have already improved and they're looking like they're gelling together a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Uh, They do have a few new recruits from last year, uh, on last year. Yeah, who did they get? They got Jazz Stewart from Frio, Cuthbertson from Frio again, um, Woodland Saint, is it Saint? Saint, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep, Crow, she played great as well. And um, their first game of the ruck, Matilda yeah. Scholes, I think it is, she played great. She was yeah, really she had the good. glove on she had too. The, yeah, they, they oh. said it was a Michael Jackson glove on the yeah. commentary, but no, nah, she played awesome. But So good, yeah. They, I thought they, they really um, took it to Port. Uh, yeah. Sorry, they Port really took it to Adelaide. I thought in that first half they were really with them and then in the second half, you know, Adelaide probably showed their experience a little bit and kind of drew away with it, but they really took the pressure to them, yeah. I thought. So it'll be a really tough game for us as well. The pressure from both teams was just high and they were interviewing, you know, players on the bench and they're just like, yeah, like we're waiting for the game to break open. Um, and yeah, then it did. But I'm I'm a little bit worried about their forward line. They're pretty dangerous down there, hey? They are. They have – they've got quite a tall forward line. They do. Um, with Saint in there now. She was the – wait, she wasn't legal. Jessie was. No. Two – two a year before a year, a year, Oh, yeah. she was. Yeah, yeah that's right. Two years ago. So Indy is down there Indy. as well. Did yeah. you see yeah. her? She's flying for those marks. Yeah. She's always had that potential there. So it's interesting to see her up the forward now. No, and 100%. She can use those strengths certainly down there with – Houghton as well. Uh, she's quite dynamic and mm-hmm. a flies. little bit chaotic too. Yeah, she yep. flies for it. She's sort of fast and agile uh, for a taller player. I think they lock it in really well as well. You couldn't see Crows get it out fast. Like their pressure was awesome. So um, that's going to be fun for our defenders down there. Absolutely. Um, for sure. Um, obviously, you've got Phillips as well. Can't go past her. Great lead on the field. Like you just watch her and she just composed Port and they really got their game style going when, yeah. she, when she's got the ball in hand. Um, I think they yeah. got a couple of young guns around there with Phillips as well, with Ewings and Derek. They really build that midfield as well. And Ewings had like a, I don't know. I think, think it's Ewings. I don't know if that's how you put it. Let's here. correct that. Ewings. Um, Ewings. Yeah, yeah, she kicked like a pretty big kick. Wasn't like it a f- goal from 50 meters? Yeah. yeah. Just absolutely yeah, so she it. roasted that one. Yeah, what was she? Rising one. star last year. Yeah. Best yep. first year player. And she got their BNS. Best so too, yeah. she that's just a great first year. 100%. Yeah. So got to be careful with her. Um, one I reckon as well, Kath always talked about the midfield, you know, we're obsessed with it. Yep. Um, Abby Derrick, what yeah. a weapon she she's is. She's strong in there, hey? 100%. Like, Lil, we did academy with her and she yeah. was just always great then, but I feel like she's just on another level. She's eh? really taking that midfield um, support to another level, level as well, so she's killing it in there. Yeah, she's doing really well. I think, like, uh, I don't know if you guys reflect on the weekend as well, like a couple of those changes, we've got the longer quarters as mm-hmm. well. Looking at some of the games over the weekend, Like there was some really good balance sort of first half and then there was a couple where it did start to push out. Um, You know, hopefully I guess for us, like that's something we're always working on our fitness and, you know, knowing we can really run out of game and and hopefully run over the top of other teams. But I think, yeah, you can sort of see that impact a little bit. The the experience size is kind of, you know, that's when they take away. Obviously maybe not us that week. Well, um, (laughs) maybe it didn't work. No, but you can see that. So hopefully like, yeah, that maybe could be a focus this week for us and we could really use that as a weapon. Um, But yeah. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, it's going to be a really good game that is at 12.35 local time in Adelaide. Um, But we might head to a break. And after that, we are going to see what's in Lil's starter pack. Oh, can't wait. Hey, Lions fans, we've got some exciting news to share with you today. Our official healthy hearing partner, Ordera, is offering Lions fans 20% off all their products. These headphones are a total game changer. Listening to music or even our podcast is crystal clear with the sound that's tailored to your unique hearing profile. 
You can even watch the TV with the volume at the perfect level for you. Tune into the game and hear the mighty Lions roar like you're right there with us in the stadium. So, Brisbane Lion members, visit our members benefits page to claim your exclusive 20% off discount on any Odira product. Join the club today and feel connected with Odira. All right. Th- oh, no, sorry. <laughs> oh, whoa. All righty. Okay. All righty. <laughs> Will, you ready for your starter pack? Hit me. Here. All right, first one, if you look at her Instagram, it's pretty obvious, Xander. <laughs> yep. Straight off the bat. Yep. She's living Easy. her mum life, her best mum life. And also looks like the dog. Looks like Did a dog. Yeah, I've got a couple of votes You've got a few that. votes on that one. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, he's yeah. a cute hair, dog. Yeah, yeah, cute face, heck. Beautiful hair. Stop. Love that. <laughs> Golden. <laughs> Golden girl. Uh, the next one we have is brother. You saying that. <laughs> Yeah, brother. that's that's true. Can you please fair. say it? Brother. Yeah. I don't know why. I just always kind of like put it at the end of the sentence. Um, you do. It's really flowed through the team since you've started saying it. I yeah. Like. It's been a bit of it's a catchy, flow on right? effect. And um, Courtney Hodder throws it out a few times. She and does. She, she puts does. a bit of a sass element on it. So. I think Craig said it back to her the other day and called her sis. sis. Yeah. 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 That's right. So we might chuck sis in there as well from Craig. Love it. Love so that's, that. yeah? Yeah, that's a tick. All right. Picky eating. Yeah, I can't deny that. <laughs> She's a picky eater. Like, what, what veggies are you eating now, Lil? Just all the greens. Oh, broccoli. Oh, all the greens. Avo, lettuce. Let's go. Beans. She's upgrading. <laughs> nah, I've definitely gotten better, but I'm just a plain, simple eater, you know? There she goes. You know what you, know what you like, so stick with it. Uh, sneakers slash hoodie. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Pretty stock standard for Lil, if mm. you ever see her around. If I'm ever buying sneakers, I've got her on FaceTime. Like, Mum's like, cool, Lily, see if she knows. In. She knows the sneaker game. How do you know these things? Oh, well, just, I don't know. It's just... You know. When, you know when you talk about things and then it just suddenly, like, keeps popping up? Um, but, yeah, I win a few raffles to actually be able to buy the shoe, which is always good at cost price, retail price. And then you I do that. get Belle on the phone at DFO, like, every second week. <laughs> just a Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, so that's a yay? Yeah. yeah. All right, this is a good one. Budget. Yeah, crunch some numbers. How often do you redo your budget? Well, if I've bought a few too many shoes, probably like a bit more often, but... What's more often for the, for the listeners? Go on. Know, give them insight. Give us the time Maybe frame. like every two, three weeks. I don't know. I'm, I was going to say weekly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come she on. She does it weekly. <laughs> Maybe the every She's couple got the of days out. if you bought a few. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd probably say like we look at it a week or so. That's that doesn't good, mean though. I stick that's... to it, but like, yeah, no, it's a leak. No, that's great. <laughs> I swear, every like week, I'm like, yep, yeah, we're going to do our budget this week, and it just doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, she's next got... week. She's like, I'm in the negative. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> uh, can't finish on the last oh, one. Skip God, this. The last one. Uh, saying you're from the sunny coast, but you're from Kombucha. Oh. Oh, did I say that wrong? <laughs> kombucha. <laughs> Sorry, kombucha. Kombucha. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> kind of fair. <laughs> that's fair. I don't know why. It's because everyone puts it's... me and Belle in the same. Boat, um, and then and like, you just yeah, roll with it. She's like, I'm going to take it. Obviously, I'll take Sunny Coast over Kabulcha. <laughs> Sorry, my civvies. <laughs> no, I love that. So, okay. rate the starter pack. Yeah, you guys have done well. Let me rate that. Uh, we're also looking for some other feedback around the podcast. So, first week, Lil, did you listen? This is the question. I'm going to be honest. I actually did. Oh <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Get her off now. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I was actually going to listen to it because then you told me I was coming on and I'm like, I've got to know what I'm in for. But then um, I actually... <gasps> I can't believe this. I didn't know this. <laughs> so many excuses. I actually literally. texted mum before I knew I was on and then um, she said that you guys did really well. She's like, Kathy's a natural. Belle did so good. Oh, so I love you, Jodie. She'll Jody. be listening now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, any feedback for me right now? Like you're listening to me or yeah, even Kathy? You know, sounds she's... great. Honestly, you guys are pretty natural and just flows off really well. And you've got good um, camaraderie. Oi, let's go. That's a big word, eh? oh, Yeah, I got, I throw got, them in. I love that. I've got some advice to slow down, you know, just get be just... prepared. So thanks for that advice. Bree Cronin. Bree Cronin. Straight yeah. to the point. We love it. Yeah. Well, as we mentioned earlier, 371 days since the last game. So obviously you've had a pretty big, I guess, last year going through rehab after your second ACL. So what was the hardest part, I guess, of that rehab and what has it taught you? Do you have any advice? Yeah. So I think um, the second one was a lot harder than the first one, although they both have their ups and downs, of course. But um, I think the similarities in both of them is probably like um, the hardest part is obviously like early stages for me as well like when you can't like walk around or do anything like that and you just you know bedridden for the first couple weeks and then um, also just 
watching everyone do like obviously what you can't do and what you want to be able to do. So um, that's probably one of the hardest parts as well. But I think, you know, some advice moving forward, like for anyone that goes through it is just reach out early to people. Um, Like I probably didn't reach out as much in my first one, but then in the second one I learned that and, you know, lean on those around you, teammates, you know, family, friends. um, And I think another one also is just, um, I know it sounds pretty cliche, but like there's always someone like worse off than you as well. So like obviously that injury is pretty big in the environment that we're in, but in the big scheme of the world, like, you know, obviously it's still pretty big, but there's someone always worse off than you as well. So I think just finding little things to be grateful about, like um, in the part of the rehab as well. And then like just take it day by day is probably the biggest advice as well. Like, you know, you sit on your bed at two week at two weeks post surgery, and then you're like, "How am I ever going to play another mm. game of footy?" But then, you know, you get to each stage, and you're like, "Oh, like I'm in the gym," and then you're like, mm. "Oh, how am I going to back squat again?" But then you get to back squatting, and then it's just like, you know, each step um, gets easier and easier. Yeah, after that. So, love that. The yeah. little wins along the way, I guess, yeah. are really important to celebrate because it is a, you know, it's that journey, and unfortunately, it's it's part of what you've had to go through. But you know, you've come out bigger and better and faster and stronger, <laughs> hitting Literally, some PBs in the gym, smashed the PBs, pumping it. Oh, comes God. out, mucks up our training because oh she's just a weapon. God. But so good. No, yeah, look, no. I, f- I feel like watching you, you know, from the start to both knees, like just your growth as a person, like, you know, you said then what, like, what has it taught you, like being grateful and all that. And, yeah, you you know I said at the start, like you're the genuine goddess, beautiful human. And do you reckon like that's something like, maybe it's taught you or? Um, yeah, definitely the grateful side of it. Like, like I said, there's someone always worse off out there. So just finding the little wins like each day, like, um, it might be literally like going from two crutches to one crutch. I'm like, oh my God, this is so good. Yeah. And then getting to walk again and then just everything like that. Um, mm. I don't know, you kind of learn the little things like that. But then you can find yourself being like, oh, like, you know, I can run again. And it's like, oh, I wish I could just change direction. But like, you just got to, you know, like stay in the moment. It's like mm-hmm. when we're in conditioning, like don't think about the half an hour we've got, just think about that one rep at a time. Kind of oh, I love little, that. It's you're great. honestly like the advice. best, you're the best teammate, honestly. And watching you go through that, it's so, so inspiring, honestly. Like you inspire me every day, but yeah. kind of saying that, um, who would you say is the most inspiring person in your life and, and why? That's a tough question. I feel like I'm surrounded by 30 of them <laughs> oh, each day. She's so lovely. So <laughs> got it. Um, <laughs> I'd probably say um, mum and nan would be probably like the two most inspiring We'll start off with Nan. She's probably like, I don't know, anyone that's met Nan, she's just Nan and, you know, nothing ever phases her in life and no matter what it throws at her, she, you know, I go back to the farm sometimes and she's the boss there with Pa just running around doing the waters, got the horses going, like she just (laughs) crack up. And then um, mum's just mum, you know, she's my best friend, my hairdresser, my psychologist, like (laughs) she's just everything in one and I think with all us kids, like she just rides like all our highs and all our lows as well and she's yeah. just always there for us. So oh, that's so Jody nice. I'll Jody. probably shout Dad out as well. Yeah, you'll <laughs> probably listen to this, Thanks, Dad. Thanks for the footy skills, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and oh, the golf clubs. So nice. Yeah, and the golf clubs. Without the bag, I need a golf bag. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dad, pull it together. Um, no, but I think, yeah, you know, that – I guess the family around you, you know, we sort of joked about it before. You got your family tattoo on, on the roof. Yeah, there. The regrets. <laughs> a few when regrets on that one. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you certainly have a really good balance of time, you know, I guess between your friends and footy and your family and making that time and effort to be there and spend, I guess, quality time with them, you know. So I guess like that family is a pretty big value of yours. Yeah, um, always like going back home and, you know, seeing the nephews and see all them grow up and stuff and they're all getting pretty big now. So, um, yeah, it's really nice going back home and getting to spend time with them. Obviously, like, moved out of home in Brizzy now, but, yeah, always try and find time to go back and see them. I think you do it pretty so well. Nice. Like, you yeah. have a great balance of you time, friend time, yeah. Taj time, family time, <laughs> Xander time. I love seeing you <laughs> going back lot. to, like, the farm and it sort of reminds me of, like, my family. I don't yeah, know, I but like we yeah. I never get to, like go back as, as easily I guess but yeah. it's so nice I don't, like that's a big value of mine as well so I don't know I just love seeing like you with your family and Literally. I always see like you put something up on <laughs> socials or whatever but yeah they're a yeah, bit it's crazy pretty nice. like, the other day the other weekend like Jem just sent me like a message <laughs> and it was like Chad was like laying down on the ground and like my other nephew Charlie was literally like jumping him with a push bike and I was like what's just going on? Yeah. Oh, I love it. While the chickens running around in the background like yeah. 
I, I, so good. I must have known we were going to talk about your family because I got a little message from your mum, Lil. Oh, I just God. want to play for you. I just want to play for everyone to hear. I just want to say how proud I was of Willie on Sunday. It's been a hard road and she's come out the other side. She's such an inspiration to all of us. Love you, Lil. Oh, that's Jodie. I love Jodie. She's got I, the tears going yeah, tears. I can hear it in the yeah. cries here. Like if there's oh. any, sorry just to cut off Jodie for a second, but if there's any wavering in anyone's voice Literally. in any of our meetings, I, if I look down at Lil, she's with, tears. With, I've got oh, tears. Said, <laughs> no, tears. Noodles debut when her mum's like, yeah, she was so little with curly hair. <laughs> Kathy, <laughs> the tears are coming out. Just that was enough to set us over. But yeah, I no. never used to be like that. I don't know, like... Now yeah. it's just it, someone says something the littlest bit out. and it gets me. I think it's your genuine care for everyone. The little, genuine goddess is coming <laughs> back again. <laughs> no, oh, I think goddess. your mum's the same because she said when she was recording that it took her three takes to not get the cry. She said, come on, Jodie, pull it together. So I'm surprised she <laughs> thought, knew how to send a voice. I thought well, I'd play that for her. <laughs> she had to send the video, not the voice. No, <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> when she thought she was going to be on, I'm like, it's all good, Jodie. It's a podcast. <laughs> um, but no, nah, shout out, Jodie. Oh, um, thanks, mum. Well, stick with the theme, resilience. We're coming up against Port. Um, um, obviously, they're coached by Lauren now, Loz, our old mate. Loz, um, mm. And, Lil, like, you had a pretty good relationship with Loz. Like, do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, like, obviously, we were teammates for a couple of years there and I think she's honestly just one of the greatest humans alive, really, to put her in a couple of words. But what she's, you know, doing at Port now to build a program from scratch is just amazing um, and to be, like, the head coach there is just awesome to see but yeah when she was with us she's obviously just a natural leader um without having the title and she's taught me so much as well like on and off the field she's just so caring and yeah. just great footy IQ to mm. be honest yeah you guys are, are sort of pretty similar hey in the way you play like I think Lil for anyone that hasn't seen Lil play but she's so composed mm-hmm. so composed like I'm the most opposite to that so like I look at you and I'm just like <laughs> frantic. run 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 go 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 <laughs> But, like, it is just such a good thing. I'm just like, oh, my God, I think Lil's got the yep. ball. She's going to make this best decision right now so I can take a breath. Yeah. But, you know, that's – has that always been – have you always been like that, playing? Like, but because you, you just – that's something I think that's really mm-hmm. natural to you, just that composure and dis- decision-making. Yeah, I think maybe it's grown a bit over the years and it's obviously been in this program as well um, and working with everyone, but – um, I'd say probably my strength has probably always been probably my kick and stuff like mm. growing up. But, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we've all got different strengths. Like, yeah. obviously, yeah. I'm not as quick as you, so. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like – I feel like you watch a lot of footy. You know, you watch the, Taj in the VFL, mm. you watch the boys, you watch all the girls' games. Like, I feel like yeah. you've watched footy for a long time. Do you reckon that's helped? Uh, that, yeah, I definitely um, – I think that does help for sure. Dad's always got it on the TV as well. So, um, I think, yeah, just the more footy you watch as well, like, you kind of like – can unpick the game a little bit and be like, oh, like I would have went there or I should have went there. So, mm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is cool. I know when we were chatting like a, a month or two ago and I was like, oh, Lil, you know, why did, why is this happening or what did I do this? And then she's like, yeah, like this is what you need to do. And I'm like, hey, sick. And we like practice a few kicks. And then I was like, oh, that's it. And then sends me a clip later on. Like, she's like, this is what such and such. I can't remember who it, it was. Buddy Franklin. Buddy oh, Franklin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the all-time great does. Yeah, <laughs> sends me a clip. you like this? <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Shit. Um, but... I don't know. I just think that's pretty cool. Like it just shows, I think, you know, you have that really great footy IQ and Mm -hmm. to be able to pick apart those things is a, is an amazing quality to have as a footballer. So, um, to link that back to Lowe's, that's where the full circle, Yeah, literally, it sort of reminds me of her. Like that's, you know, it's one of those things that she really brought. So yeah, going up against them this week is going to be, yeah, yeah, pretty interesting. Good luck, Lowe's, if you're listening. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, golly. Um, well, moving on to a couple other things, uh, your, Last little bit, we heard about it earlier, your budgeting and your... Um, discount codes, you yeah. know, Lily's always got the discount She's codes. In the raffles, shop, like shop. how do you even know about these raffles? <laughs> like you Google something things. before you buy it, honestly. But oh. yeah, but seriously though, like you're into fashion, you're into the, your business stuff. Have you have you got anything in the works, Lil? Well, I do have a little bit in the works, but it's been in the works for a couple of years. Yeah. So <laughs> hey, hey, one step it's at a time. There. Yeah. One still step there. at a time. I'd obviously love to like own my own clothing business and stuff like that, but... Um, yeah, hopefully one day we can get it out. I did have one when I was a bit younger, but um, it's definitely going to be a lot better now. Yeah. What was it called? That? This one? Or <laughs> no, you're what was guy? the first well, one? The first one was called Prime Apparel. <laughs> Prime Apparel? Oh, okay. was, what that. was the logo? Was it, uh, a little... it was the first one was just like Prime and then the second one was like a pineapple on a surfboard. <laughs> hey, there you go. Oh, it's like a boat <laughs> chat. Love it. Sunny Coast. Yeah. Yeah, well, love that. look forward to seeing that. <laughs> love it. It's um, got a new name. 
Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep it, it under wraps. Keep it under wraps. Yeah, no, fair enough. Hey, hey, if you make a business, will you reveal it on the podcast? What about that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, All three that's a time. deal. That's a deal. <laughs> we'll be three, three years later. Time. Season five. <laughs> Season five. Uh, Old podcast, yeah. yeah. Well... I've got a game for you too. Oi. So it's going to be a bit of the best friends quiz because these guys are the best friends and yeah. I'm just Sisters. over here. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I'm going to ask you, Belle, a okay. couple of questions about Lil. Okay. So it's obviously how well you know her. And I'm ready. The vice versa. Oh, I'm stressed. Okay. So I'll just get my book out. <laughs> I'm actually like Yeah. So this will really Test show. The friendship. These really important Make or questions. break. Make or break, yeah. All right, give it to me. So Lily. What is Belle's secret talent? Drumming. That's not the right <laughs> it's answer. Yeah. Was, it's the noise in the back. <laughs> yeah, there's drumming in the background. One more go. <sighs> You're good at everything, oh, honestly. Oh. Nah, I'm stuck on What do I do on the plane? To kill time. Oh, rap. Oh, no. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, cut it. Cut. It's a Rubik's Cube. Rubik's. Oh, I Ooh. feel like that's, yeah, you are pretty good at yeah. that. All right. Okay, well, we're going time. back. Yep. Belle, what is Lily's secret talent? It is. What is it? Your secret talent is. What is Let it? Let it flow. Driving. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Can you give me a clue? Quick, quick, quick. Um, yeah. That's the clue. Speaking. Budgeting. Uh, numbers. <laughs> No, sorry. <laughs> so speaking we're not best gibberish. Oh, Can you please speak some? Yeah. Um, Heather Gay. What? That says hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say one more. Else. <laughs> Heather Gay, Kathy. <laughs> that was not it. <laughs> what the got? Either gears, other gut, good guys. What? What's up, guys? Yeah, the girls. Oh, oh, oh close. So close. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay, good. After a good start. Just a couple more to get through. Yeah, let's okay. Just do like three more. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll go for the easy one. Yeah. Um. Belle, yep. what is Lily's pizza order? Margarita. Yeah. Bang. Yep. Plain eater. See? Plain eater. She Easy loves it. As. She's taking the basil off too, and guys. Lil, that plain. what is Belle's pizza order? She'd get a veggie probably. Oh. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm sharing with you. Oh. <laughs> it's a mug. <laughs> oh. Double date. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, no, it's a date. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lily, what would Belle's superpowers be? We literally had this conversation the other day. Um, teleportation. Oh, do you know I wrote that first, but I changed my mind oh, because okay. I so she today I was you. enjoying being in traffic and just listening to music. Oh, so mm. you're enjoying it this today? Yeah, yeah. So, but I've changed it. Okay. Um, invisibility. Nah, sorry. One more guess. Reading people's minds. <laughs> <laughs> it's a photographic memory. Yeah. Oh. That's okay, weird. you've changed you a few yeah, I've days. Changed it, I've changed I'm going to give that to Lil. Yeah, I think she got that Lil. first. Waddle, waddle, waddle. What's Lil's superpower? Flying. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you guys talk about this the other day? Yeah, we did. And it was running really fast, super speed. Oh, teleport. Yes, exactly. Teleport. We were the same. I know. I it's not nice. And we've got one last one. All right. Belle, who is Lil's celebrity crush? Taj. <laughs> <laughs> he is a celeb. Um, Maybe celebrity a Celebrity crush. I feel like you'll get it because oh. I didn't really even know what to say. Honestly, oh, like okay. her and Taj, I'm saying it's Taj. Taj. I don't care. Okay, yeah. he's a celeb. And well, <laughs> do you know mine? You know mine. Come on, surely. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sorry, you look at me like that. <laughs> Miley Cyrus. Yes! yes. Oh my god. She's. Oh, oh yeah. who would the boy be? Um, the boy would be. Come on, Come on, Lil. You know, you know, he's a singer. Come on. Justin Bieber. Yes. yes. Oh, Lil, my dude. That is it. Okay, they came okay. together at the end. The energy was there. That was a bit sketchy, but like, nah, we, do, best, we are best friends. <laughs> we're best friends. We don't the need a quiz. quiz. We don't need a quiz. Oh, besties. Oh, thanks for that, Kath. Oh, golly. Well, we'll wrap it up with our recommendations for the week. Yep. Lil, Lil. you got anything? Anything yeah. you want to recommend? Okay. Um, my recommendation is get down to my roasting cafe, get oh, the cool. coffee and the burger deal. I think it's about $13. And you can take your dog Budget to the park Budget just across the road. How do you find these deals if, if someone's not living in Queensland? I think you just got to experience, you know, get yourself on the street. <laughs> get out there. Um, yeah. yeah. Explore a few new cafes. Perfect. All right. Get out and about. Love it. In your local. We'll have that. Um, that All right. Well, I'll, <laughs> start, I'll start with my one. I was, at, I was at work today and I was a little bit bored, so I had a bit of paper and I just wrote down and I was like... What are some things I don't like about myself or want to change or enhance if you want to oh, do that? God. So I just wrote down a little list and it was cooking. One was, you know, I don't know. You don't like it. You don't I like can't them. really cook. Okay. So I need yep. to get better at that. You know, gotcha. I need to enhance that skill. Wrote down a few others. Won't mention them all on the podcast. Um, but yeah, that was a nice little thing. And I was like, what am I going to do to fix that? Another one was like, throw a download in an app, you know, just... <sighs> 
Growth. Thing. Growth. Learning. There Experiencing. What am I gonna cook? Yeah, uh, I want to cook like a prawn something. Ooh, curry. Ooh. Yep. Linguine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yum. Jeez, Cass. Slow pasta. down. Slow down. Slow down. Pasta, pasta. You're uh, actually a great cook, Cass. I I'm a good cook. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say I'm a great cook, but then again, for me and Lily, you probably yeah, I'm probably, probably great compared yeah. to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, my recommendation for the week: I got a haircut this week, guys, and I chopped it all off. Mm-hmm. Feeling fresh, you know, good to go. So. What did you say? It was I like said, a new beginning or something. When, when you cut your hair, it's like you're cutting off bad vibes. You know how well, you, you always feel great after yours. a haircut? Yeah. And that's why. Feeling fresh, yeah. I, I must admit, you it was w- the first thing I noticed when Literally. you walked in. I was yeah, like, everyone I really it. noticed it. Yeah. She sat down, I was like, great haircut. And then everyone's walking in, great haircut. <laughs> Kathy, you got a haircut. You got a haircut. Got a lot of compliments. You did. Yeah. There we go. Go that's get a haircut, nice. guys. Good. No, it looks great. Feeling good. Well, it's a great way to finish up. Uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks for Lil for coming on the potty. Yeah, special. Thanks for having me, guys. It was really nice, Lil. Um, everyone, you can subscribe to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts or lines.com.au. So, yeah, click that button and give us a listen, give us a follow, give us a rate. Yep. Send, you know, send me some feedback. feedback. Send me a DM. Honestly, I'll take the feedback. Send me some questions or what, what you want to hear. <laughs> yeah, but, um, send some questions in. And definitely tune into the game this weekend. And our next home game is the 17th of September against the Swans at Brighton Homes. So, love to see you there. Get everyone down there. Um, tune in to 7 Mate, 7 Plus or Fox to watch our game on the weekend versus Port, Port. Adelaide hey, the Saturday. Boys, the boys are versus Port too. Which the, is at the boys Gabba. are on too. Boys are at the Gabba. They're in the... Semi? Semi? Wait, Semi. What is it? Qualifying. Qualifying final. Qualifying final. Yep. And we'll be on the plane, but we're praying that there is Wi-Fi so we'll we can we'll watch the game we'll on the way we'll home. We'll be watching. Get around, um, the guys. Yeah, get around. So big weekend. Lions yep. v Port Adelaide. Let's do it. Let's do it. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go. See you guys. Well, thanks for listening. Peace out. Peace. <gasps> was that good? Was that good? Yeah. Lil, thanks, thanks guys. I'm like, you're beautiful. <laughs> you just sort there and I'm just like, I love you. <laughs> that's that um, great. That, that quiz. Is. That quiz. <laughs> that quiz. <laughs> Bro, I told her to ask me how to spell your last name and I'm like, why did I say that? Oh, oh my God. P-O-S. I didn't even know how to spell it so I couldn't tell you. <laughs>